purpose of this video is to give you the similarities and differences in two Moodle vocabulary words that are often misused. And that, so I'm not going to show you how to create these or what they can be really used for uh, as much as I just want to demonstrate the difference between the two. And the two words are cohort and group. They um, have similar meanings in that both are subsets of users in your system, um, but their context or the location where they're used is different. So here's an example. Um, at in site administration, if you go to users and cohorts, a cohort is a site group of users, a, uh, and I don't want to use the word group here, a subset of users that um, is put into a, uh, a section here for enrollment purposes and reporting purposes. So let's say there are a thousand users in my site. I have a subset of users that all have the job description, uh, the job title accountants. And I put all the accountants in one uh, subset called a cohort and then what I can do is I can enroll that cohort automatically in various accounting courses and so that saves me from having to do the enrollments one at a time or using a CSV file I just go ahead and synchronize the cohort to the course and every user in the cohort is automatically given to that course I can also use a cohort for the purposes of pulling reports so if I go to users and bulk user actions I can select a cohort cohort from my filters here um, and when I select the cohort right here that will give me all of those users and from those from those users I can then send them all a message I can then um, download a roster of those users I could suspend them all I can do a number of different things but a cohort is a subset of users at the site level a group on the other hand is a subset of users at the course level and the reason that I typically want subsets of users at the course level is so that the members of one group cannot see the members of another group and this is particularly useful if I have a course that has a number of different organizations with users in them so let's say for example this is a um, a, a, a course on engine repair and I've got mechanics from four different companies that are taking this course and I don't want the mechanics from company A to see the mechanics from company B so I would put them into separate groups and I would make those groups separate and uh, I would select separate in the um, in the group course settings and then um, what happens is the, the the mechanics from group A would not be able to see the mechanics from from company B and vice versa. I can also put supervisors from company A. I can give them the teaching assistant role, the, which is the non-editing teacher role. I can put them into the group and uh, that way they can pull reports like completion reports, activity completion, course completion reports. They can see grades on their company's users only because they're members of that group and they would not be able to see anybody or even know that there's a, a separate group in the course. Okay, so to recap, a cohort is a subset of users at the site level. It's used for enrolling uh, users and reporting purposes. A group is a subset of users at the course level, and it's typically used to keep groups of users separate so that they uh, don't get confused by looking at other people that they shouldn't be seeing. Um, they can't pull reports on people that they shouldn't be seeing, etc. All right. I hope that was useful for you. As always, if you have any questions at all, please reach out to us. We'd be happy to schedule a free call with you and just talk you through any of these terms uh, or anything else that you'd like to talk about.